Bonjour. Bonjour YouTube, welcome back to our channel. Today we are in Beauvais. Yep. So, on y va. We've just arrived. My goodness, note that if you take a train here, it will be slow and it will take you a long time to come here. It took us 70 minutes to go the same distance as other... Oh, this is so pretty. Hang on. My soul from the trauma we've been given now. I hear the whispers in the wind under smoky clouds. And tell myself once again, I'ma work it out. So much shit can happen, yo, it got me tripping now. Yeah. It's filling. So the church is closed. Maybe they will open later on. Lunch break. It's one o'clock. Yeah. Bove. Why does everything look so similar? Almost like this building's a bit, but like a lot of buildings look like that. Is because this city was really destroyed during the Second World War. So uh, that's why the architecture is mostly post war architecture and um, thankfully some of the religious buildings the churches have remained and like I mean they haven't disappeared this city is uh, mainly used to connect to the airport served by low-cost carriers like Ryanair and all of that so people come here for that <laughs> but but we're here because we want to go to the cathedral and it's absolutely amazing so let's go So interesting fact about this cathedral is that up above here, if you see this part in the middle, this middle column had to be added later because initially they only put two columns. The space in between them was much wider. So what happened was the structure was unstable. They had to add the middle one to avoid it completely collapsing on itself. Another thing about this cathedral is that it was not finished. The nef over there behind me was supposed to go further down it was supposed to have been much bigger but they couldn't finish it because of the, uh, of the hundred year war and then they ran out of money so uh, the org behind me the organ it was built only recently the cathedral itself should have been much much bigger but behind that wall uh, we will see an old church much smaller that is still standing there they didn't remove it it was supposed to have been removed to make way for the nef of the cathedral but it never happened this place is amazing. And you know what's amazing is that people say, oh, medieval times, dark age. How can this be dark age? How could they have built this beauty, this amazing stuff in dark age? Look at it. I mean, build it now. Nowadays, people just build something mm, most of the time, you know? For them to build this, it's just, it's mind-blowing. Thoughts? I think this is the most amazing, beautiful cathedral I've ever been to. Yes. It was stunning. Yeah. It was so high. Yeah. It just... I felt like Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> it was it's really so amazing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this one is the most outstanding one I would say and it's not complete you see yeah so this it was supposed to be continuing this way this is the nef but then you've got the church right there it's an old church I don't know I mean the city doesn't have so many things to see we're yeah. gonna go and check out the Palais Episcopal right now which is now a modern art museum but um, the thing is really really 
to come and see this beauty this architectural wonder it's a wonder for me yeah it is insane like you go in you're overwhelmed you're tiny you're microscopic compared to um the actual cathedral and also you can listen to a story about horloge ah uh, yes clock yeah uh you just pay a bit and then five you years will, yeah basically there is the clock the, story. the astronomic clock yeah that uh, was built in the 19th century and uh, it's three meters deep underground it goes three meters deep underground it's like a it's like a piece of art on its own it should have there are pieces that go up and down every three days i think some of them go up but then there is one piece that goes up every hundred years it has the uh, biblical, biblical story yeah. of final judgment day so there is christ on the top and then he judges <laughs> some uh, moment hell <laughs> yeah we, we unfortunately we saw the part where the where the uh, person went to hell <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So it's the yeah, rooster, it's rooster sits yeah. on top and he goes Ooh, yeah. it's so cool I wasn't expecting actually it's so detailed it's and amazing yes I wasn't in I wasn't in expectations but the, the story was insane how they build it how many pieces 90,000 90,000 pieces are inside so this detailed. clock detailed yeah all right we're going to the palais episcopal let's see The main gate over there dates to uh, 14th century, 1306, and the palace itself, the Bishop Palace, dates to 16th century. Behind, as you can see, the cathedral is huge. Would they have to demolish the gate? I'm not sure, I don't know, but it's crazy. It's just so nice here. Like, it has such nice energy here, this place. It's just amazing. There is a spire on top of the cathedral, but unfortunately it couldn't handle the weight and it just collapsed after a few years and that made the cathedral the highest in the world, back in the 16th century of course. And we just came across the oldest house in Bove, which dates back to 1400s and it's just amazing. We're walking along the like fortified yeah. walls and um, so I was just saying there is not so many things to see but we just spent one and a half hours in Kaderwald and one hour in Palace and I really enjoyed it when you have not so many things at the same time but well maintained well kept you really enjoy it you also learn a lot So that is Jeanne Achette. She was fighting against Charles the Bold, who was on the side of English, which made her the heroine of Bove. And for that reason, you can see the statue of Jeanne Achette right in front of the Hotel de Ville in Bove. The architecture continues. It's all the same. This was all rebuilt. But I love how it was rebuilt in such a way that it's not crazy, it's not just greedy, ugly architecture where they put whatever they can just to, you know, like in some cities, they, if they have a chance to rebuild something, they put something really ugly as long as they make money from it. Here, again, it's beautiful, it's um, organized, it's uh, clearly under restrictions, and it respects this human scale. I love it. So we are now on the way back to Paris. That's it for today. If you would like to see more of this content, please don't forget to like, share and comment below. And subscribe. Oh, yeah. And? You can also buy us a coffee. Yes. To support us. And? Until next week. Au revoir. Au revoir.